A Quiet Place is a movie about shutting up for 30 minutes at a time. And I went into this movie with pretty high expectations. I guess seeing a 97% Rotten Tomatoes score and then getting this kind of movie as a reminder that Rotten Tomatoes is a bad way to judge a movie. Now before I get into things I didn't think were great, I want to talk about the things that I did like that made me enjoy this movie. Cause I'm a positive guy, and I, I like to look on the bright side of the moon. So the plot of this movie is pretty straightforward. Standard monster apocalypse fair with a bit of a twist. The monsters are hypersensitive to sound. This means that any sound will attract them. The monsters are quick, and they're pretty much a one-hit kill if they get at you, so... You can't make noise, and... You know, actually, I want to go off on a tangent here. The design of the creatures bugs me so much, because it looks like the xenomorph from Alien, and the Demogorgon from Stranger Things had a fun night, man. They had a really fun night. And then they f in the And then they And then nine months later, this disappointment emerged. Good God, this thing just, it looks like the Demogorgon. And it has the teeth of the alien. There's, there's like, wow, cool, you got sharp hands. Dude, calm down. Wow! It's not that big of a deal. The ears are kind of cool, though. Anyway, back to the concept. It's something I've seen before, I think, in World War Z. Correct me if I'm wrong, but having a whole movie centered around it was something I found pretty intriguing. The lack of dialogue makes way for some really potent visual storytelling in the first 45-ish minutes of the movie. The family that the story follows are pretty creative with how they soundproof their home and their lives so as to be safe from the monsters. Example, at one point they're playing Monopoly with small wool pieces instead of metal pieces. I appreciate these little details a lot because it, it, it adds to the world building and there, there's no need for exposition of any kind. That was something else the movie did really well. There was never narration or never uh, a sign that tells you what's going on. There's no reading or no blatant explanation. It just, it's straight up visual storytelling for everything you need to know as to what's going on. The no talking rule also helps to accentuate the character's expressions to show how they're feeling as opposed to speaking. Everyone did a really good job acting here, except for the monsters. They were bad. Like, seriously, it's not that hard to design an aggressive biped, like... <sighs> the standout to me, in terms of acting, was uh, the John Krasinski as the father. I thought he displayed a really wide range of emotions, and it was a huge departure from The Office. So... Uh, yeah, that's the extent of the good stuff. Time for the dumb idiot stuff. So, like I said, the first 45-ish minutes were good. Yeah, after that, the movie becomes a generic horror movie with a bit of a sound gimmick. In the first act, the movie is almost completely silent because, you know... So then, after a while, there's just music all the time, and this doesn't just kill the tension, it murders it to me. I feel that this movie could have been, like, a horror film and not a horror movie if they just kept going with the silence gimmick. The audience would never know when a jump scare was coming, and there would be constant tension because even a soothing calm moment would have potential to become instantly terrifying. Hell, there's a scene like that in the beginning of the movie. Imagine if the whole movie was like that. I would have been gripping my seat. Not to mention the score is generic, boring, trash crap. You know what else sounds like this soundtrack? Every other soundtrack for a movie ever. You know what you do with this? You bin it. You put it in the bin. The garbage bin. The lack of silence in a movie called A Quiet Place was really freaking disappointing to me. I guess you could make the argument that it makes it easier to digest for all the preteen girls that are going to want to see it. It was like the first bit was artsy and untouched by a studio and then the rest was... Who produced this? Oh. Needless to say, I was pretty disappointed with what I got. Not to say that this was bad, I'm just really frustrated with how much lost potential that this movie had and I feel like this could have been much more of a, a gut punch if it wasn't so streamlined towards the second half. <sighs> there are a few scenes that stick out to me though but I don't think it's as incredible as everyone hyped it up to be. It's still better than your average horror movie, I'd say it's definitely worth your time and money. So if you're thinking of seeing it, please do. Please do, this one's good, okay? Just, I'm annoyed because 
I'm a pretentious b-hole who wants every movie to be an artsy movie, and this one wasn't as artsy as I wanted it to be. Granted, it tried, and for that, it definitely gets points. Go see this one.